The Prophet ﷺ, he said, whoever recites the last two verses of Surah Al-Baqarah at night, and in one of the narrations, it says after Salatul Isha, then they will be sufficient for him. Never will they be recited in a house. Three nights, three consecutive nights, and a devil can come near that house. So if you recite them three nights in a row, no devil can come near your house, let alone come near you. It is a treasure, as the Prophet ﷺ said. I was given the ending verses of Surah Al-Baqarah, and they came from a treasure from under the throne of Allah Azza wa Jalla. And finally, uh, amongst its uh, virtues is that the dua in it is honored and accepted by Allah. And this is reported by Imam Muslim. Ibn Abbas said, one day Jibreel was sitting with the Prophet wasallam, and he heard a, uh, a sound from above in the heavens. So he raised his head, Ibn Abbas said, Jibreel raised his head. And he said, this is a gate that was opened in the heavens today and it was never opened before today. So an angel descended from that gate and then Jibreel said, here comes an angel down to earth who never came down to earth before today. So that angel greeted them with salam and then said to Muhammad sallallahu glad tidings to you with two sources of light. You were given and no previous prophet was ever given the opening chapter of the book, Al-Fatiha, and the last verses of Surah Al-Baqarah, you will never recite with a letter that is in them, except that you will be granted. Meaning, any dua in them, and the, which is the dua at the end of the surah, except that you will be granted that. We ask Allah's favor.